Hey what is up you guys welcome to the channel I do appreciate you stopping by and checking out this video whether you are a returning subscriber or you are new to the channel I appreciate you thank you very much for stopping by okay in this video I'm, I'm showing you guys how to do PS4 remote play to your P Windows PC I know this isn't new it's been around for years but I just wanted to do like a more current up-to-date version in 2019 um, but since I tried doing this just yesterday I did come across an issue where it's when signing into the PlayStation Network you get an error saying connection to the server has timed out so if anybody else is having that same problem I have a solution for you so stick around throughout the video for that but for now I'm going to show you from start to finish so let's jump into it first thing you want to do is obviously go to Google Chrome or whatever web browser you are using type in PS4 remote play now you are looking for this um, page here I'll leave a link in the description if you can't find it but it's literally the top one it then brings you to this website um, and then if you're Mac or PC I'm using PC this tutorial is for PCs so you want to click that and then it shouldn't take too long to download before downloading it you may want to consider just reading um, all the information here that tells you about getting ready for PS4 remote play so it says what you need, obviously you need a computer, PS4, a system, controller and um, you don't need a wireless adapter, you can use it by plugging in the USB cable and um, you do need a high speed internet connection though so you're gonna need fiber um, with at least it's saying here with at least 15 megabytes per second download I'm not too sure it needs 50 megabytes upload but I think it needs at least 15 for download but again you want to do a speed test for your internet and um, again just go to Google put speed test and um, this first one by Ookla and you want to just click go and then this way you'll find out what your internet oh damn <laughs> yeah so these are my internet speeds and this is actually good for me because just recently my internet was um, like having some issues so it's good to see that it's up and running again so you might want to check this out just just to see what speeds your internet currently has if you're getting around about this figure then you're laughing you know easy look at that 71 download 18 upload easy for me and so that's good um, so it tells you how to set it up but I'm going to show you that anyway in this tutorial and um, you can read all that in your own time so once that's installed um, I'm going to show you now on the PS4 system but I'm going to cheat by using remote play but you just need to enable something on your PS4 system first before using remote play so I'm going to jump into my PS4 now and what you want to do is just go over to settings go down to remote play connection settings and make sure enable remote play is ticked okay without that then this will not work okay once you have set your PS4 to enable remote play there is one other thing that you need to do is make sure that your your system is activated as the primary PS4 so you want to just go to account management and activate your primary PS4 once you've done that then you can go ahead on to the next step and um, you can leave your PS4 on but what you want to do now is connect your PS4 controller to the PC okay and then um, well, I've already linked it up so I'm going to click on PS4 remote play here check in for update you're going to be you're going to get this screen okay because I've already linked it up, as soon as I press start it's going to find my PS4 straight away but for you newbies who are doing this for the first time you're going to click start and then it's going to bring up another window saying sign into your PlayStation Network okay um, or another way you can just go to settings and then sign in um, oh, yeah there we go I don't need to do it again so when you're doing it for the first time you'll click sign in put in your email address and password hopefully it will work for your first time but if you do get an error 
where it says connection to the server has timed out do not worry okay because how I fix that is by doing this okay so ignore this you might want to close it or something it seems to be an issue with Microsoft Edge I believe I found this solution on the internet and um, and, it, and it worked there, there was no other way I tried so many other ways and it just didn't work but this one did what we want to do is go to your little Windows icon here then you want to search for Microsoft Edge right click go to more app settings okay and you want to scroll down to where it says reset just click repair and then also click reset and literally that is all I had to do and then I reopened up PS4 remote play signed in boom it was done you have to do a little quick capture where you have to click on the traffic lights or the crosswalk or something <laughs> or bridges um, but yeah that should be good to go if that does not fix it then I am sorry I don't know what the other problem could be okay but I could tell you now that was what fixed it for me okay so moving on you've signed in you're ready to use remote play don't forget this little box here okay because by default it will be set to standard 540p and then you'll be like oh the, the quality is crap though depending on your PS4 system if you've got like the standard PS4 or the PS4 slim I believe you can only go up to 720p but like me I have the PS4 Pro which you are able to then use the best 1080p option um, if you select 1080p it will tell you that you need the, um, the PS4 CH7000 or whatever it is but basically the PS4 Pro is what you need and then high frame rate I go to high easy my PC handles it my internet handles it perfectly and um, if you check out my recent video I've done live streams using PS4 remote play and the quality just looks amazing so you are very much good to go click OK and then go back to this screen just press options searching for PS4 connecting to PS4 boom there it is and then all you do here is just click this enlarge window and there you have your PS4 on your PC and it also outputs the audio I'm just going to unmute it there we go so you can hear that so um, I'm using OBS now to record this you can't see it but basically you're up and ready to go for streaming and stuff so it is awesome yeah it outputs audio with no lag whatsoever it is so good I mean I could let me just minimize this it's going to be a little bit weird but I'm going to just bring over my Streamlabs OBS software I don't know if it's going to be any good but if I bring up remote play yeah <laughs> it's probably not a good idea but I can honestly tell you guys you are all set up now ready for streaming recording your PS4 gameplay without the game capture card so I've just saved your saved you about 150 quid on an Elgato capture card you can also do this on the Xbox if you guys have Xbox and you want to know how to do this similar thing without the use of game capture card then I will do a separate video on that as well okay so I hope you guys enjoyed the video you found it useful if you did leave it a thumbs up if you do have any problems just leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to give you any advice or any help but um, yeah thanks again for watching guys really do appreciate it and Enjoy. See you in the next video.